Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina and I am on a journey to make my mobile home a mobile mansion. Honestly, in my head, we're already there. Today's video is a surprise. I'm so excited to show y'all this. I'm so excited to show you this. I wasn't even gonna do a video because honestly, it's not like a room makeover and it was a process in building it. So I didn't know if it was something that you guys would like to see, but I'm gonna show y'all how I transform a wall in my living room into something that just blows my mind. Shane outdid himself. So what I did is I started off by literally designing an entire addition to my wall. I got down the measurements down pat. I envisioned what I wanted in my head and I ran with it. So a few of y'all caught what I was trying to hint at the other day. I said I'm doing a project and it's something I was saving up for before my dishwasher. I had someone reach out to me and say, I know exactly what it is because I joined your channel the day that you said that and it was when you hit 500 subscribers. That's how long it's been since I spoke on this. 500 subscribers. I was saving up for a fireplace insert. You guys know that's about the time that I give my nanny my little fireplace I bought off Amazon and I let her do her thing with that with the hopes that I would one day save up enough money to get this. It took six and a half months but I finally got this and then it sat in my house <laughs> and I had to move it around because I wanted to keep I knew I wanted it to be a surprise for y'all I had to move it around out of my shots while doing cleaning videos that's how dedicated I was at keeping this a secret so I bought this fireplace insert and I was still overwhelmed and I was wanting to do my pantry before I started on this because I was like maybe if I do my pantry I can like you know we can brush up on our skills with carpentry and stuff like that because neither of us have any woodworking skills so I, it was overwhelming thinking about doing a wall that would hold such weight as a fireplace and a TV mount so I was like maybe we could just practice on our pantry I went to Lowe's to get the pantry lumber and lo and behold if I didn't get a wild hair and just say you know what Marina run with it so I designed an insert for my wall and I just googled and YouTubed a crap ton and we come up with something absolutely amazing with my brains and Shane's muscles we got it done I won't be able to give you like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this only because like it I was trying to put what was on my brain onto paper basically but I will say I did find this feller's video on YouTube he doesn't know I exist never had a conversation with him never watched another video by him but he had a video on something that I kind of went by loosely um, and he gives direct measurements like he was great at making a difficult thing seems simple so I'll have his video linked down below if you're looking to do something like this I highly recommend watching that before you do it and watching it at least 25 times I know I'm probably at least 50 views on that video no joke I've had a couple people ask me how exactly I save up for projects like this like the method I use and I was gonna do a video on it but it's not enough really to do a video on it's really simple I just do the envelope system and what I do is I just take an envelope set it aside write what project I'm saving up for and then every time we get paid I just add a little bit of money in it and before you know it I have a few projects that I'm completely funded for and it's not taken away from my like groceries or anything like that priorities come first lots house groceries um that's why we don't do debt we don't do credit cards we don't do loans or anything like that everything we do is paid for in cash and while it does take us longer to save up to have the money to be able to do projects like this i'm constantly saving up for something so i'm co i constantly have something to do because i'm constantly coming up with the full amount of something that needs to be done around the house so that's what i do i just take i don't try to like do I don't put money aside for a project before I go get groceries I go get groceries whatever I have left after all of my bills are paid and everything is up to date I just take that and I take a little bit out of it and put it in an envelope you'd be surprised at how quickly you can save up for a whole project just by doing a little thing like that and it's like I'm talking like I'm not even talking $300 when we get paid we ain't got $300 to spare I'm talking ten dollars five dollars i've saved as much as like quarters before and th the way that i did my um my brick wall is i saved quarters for it i saved quarters and once i got enough quarters turned into dollars and i had like 50 bucks and i did my faux brick wall 
it's it you'll be surprised at how fast you can save up for something especially when you forget it's been so long you've forgotten that you're saving up for anything it's just kind of um a, a routine now and you're like oh hey you go into count it one day and you're like hey i have all this money now let's go to lowe's Step is always hard. Also, is the crack of my pants bothering anybody else? It's never even. I swear I have uneven butt cheeks. I have to have. Starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before. So what we've done here is we just put one by sixes up on the wall to kind of use them as studs to hold the addition to our already existing wall. We've made frame arms, which are those things that you see sticking out. And now we're just making sure that the base of the frame, we can maneuver it in there um, really like in a really snug way. It has to be a snug fit. Um, it took some hammer hits, it took some wiggling, but we got it in there. So then we pull it back out and we begin to actually build our frame, our frame for our fire insert or our fireplace insert, all that stuff we have to build on this frame. So we gotta make sure that we can shimmy it in there and it's gonna be a top fit. Is this our destiny? Just like it was meant to be. Yeah. I had to figure out how far I wanted my fireplace off the ground. I ended up going with 12 inches, which is one foot. These little studs that you see sticking up right here, they're one foot long. And then basically we just lay our fireplace insert down and we use it as a template to build around it. That way you get exact measurements and you're not just flying by the seat of your pants. took our TV mount, which is the black thing that you see there, and we lined it up to see exactly where we wanted it on the frame, and we based our studs off of that, because obviously the TV mount had to be hung on studs, so we ha that's how we kind of made sure where to put our studs at. And then we just shimmy it back into there. And that's why it's so important to try it before you get everything built in there because you definitely don't want to build it all and then it not fit. <laughs> but you definitely got to squeeze it like your granny squeezed into her favorite girdle. Like squeeze it and it'll look like it's not going to go in there. But see, you just got to do a jig with it and it, it eventually does, hopefully. my our, In our case, it did. <laughs> Of emotions, zone is on the line. 
I then decided to go with sheetrock, honestly because Shane did sheetrock and drywall for most of his adult life. That's what he used to do as a profession. So I know it would be easy for him. And secondly, I didn't want to put it up normally. I wanted to use screws and not glue and pin nails. That way, if I ever wanted to change it, if I ever wanted to ship lap this or anything like that, I could easily take it off and it wouldn't damage my studs or anything like that. It wouldn't be a pain in the rear end to take off. So I'm just using sheetrock and we're just screwing it down. And I chose to screw it down because I knew I was doing the joint compound brick method that I've been doing around my house lately. Um, I have a ton of videos down below that are direct tutorials of how I do that in case you guys want to see this and want to replicate it. Um, but I knew that that joint compound would cover up the screws. Yeah, I know that you're the traveling kind. It's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. Mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home to me. You guys have seen this. Unless you're new here, you've seen me do this a hundred times now. I'm just doing the faux brick method with the scotch tape and the joint compound and the acrylic paint and the polyacrylic. Crazy. With who? You been where? With who? Mm. Um, for real. Oh, really? That's, That's how, how you feel? feel. And he's asking, asking, all questions. Questions. asking all these questions. Asking all these questions. Asking all these questions. Making statements. Assuming? Asking all these questions. Asking all these questions. Asking all these questions, making statements, oh. assuming. Let me check your face. What's that password to your Twitter? Someone told me to use ha my hands with joint compound, and I don't know if they were playing a trick on me or not, but hey, it worked really easily. <laughs> Way better than the spatula. This is the only before shot I have. <laughs> Me just lostly looking into the abyss of this wall. <laughs> this is the before shot, and this is what we turned it into. Tell me that doesn't transform the entire house. It brings such a coziness, which is, it's like simple, but intricate. Ain't that the right word? Yeah, intricate. I'm so happy with it, y'all. It, and it really wasn't hard. We have no experience in woodworking. I literally just threw shelf brackets from old shelves I had that used to be hanging behind the lamp there and put a 1x6, 4 foot 1x6 on there, stained it, and used it as a mantle. I love it. I'm so happy with it. I hope y'all have a blessed morning, evening, and night. Whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all tomorrow.